And we're live. Uh, hello, my name is Henry Gordon Smith. I am co founder of the Association for Vertical Farming, and I'm joined here by some exciting colleagues and collaborators to talk about the Green Tech Rye event coming up in June and the AVF Summit. So, to start with, I'm joined by my colleague Max Lossel, co founder of the Association for Vertical Farming. Max, why don't you say hi? Hi, everyone. Welcome to this webinar. Um, yeah, we're going to tell you about some exciting events that we have planned for you this June. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the questions. Great. Thanks for that. And we're also joined by um, Mariska Dressler and uh, Thies. Uh, Mariska is manager of Green Tech, and, and Thies is a product manager. Uh, please, uh, please say hello. Yes, hi. Well, we're very happy to uh, to join you as well, and uh, to tell you more about uh, the highlights of uh, Green Tech. Yes, we we are. So this is our first uh, Google Hangout, and we are very excited about this. Yes, we yeah. are. Great. Yeah, I like to see that enthusiasm. Yeah, these um, for those of our viewers uh, that are beginning to join. Uh, this is an exciting live webinar where we'll be taking your Q and A's about uh, the Association for Vertical Farming Summit and Green Tech, uh, pretty much the most important events this summer, let's say. Mm -hmm. So, um, just a little bit of background here. Uh, you know, Max and, and I were able to meet Mariska in Abu Dhabi at the Global Forum for Innovations in Agriculture, uh, where we were learning about some emerging technologies uh, for for ag tech. And we were able to brainstorm a possible collaboration, uh, which is what we're here to talk about today. And that's between the Association of Vertical Farming and Green Tech to really make um, you know, an addition to Green Tech's exciting event happening this summer, June 14th through 16th, by adding a little bit more of a twist uh, with vertical farming. Uh, for those of you who are new to vertical farming, it's the stacked cultivation of plants, uh, typically indoors. It's now expanding as well to also include integrating farming into buildings and rooftops and basements. Uh, you can learn more about that at vertical-farming.net. Max, maybe do you want to tell us a little bit about the collaboration with Green Tech, how it kind of got started and, and, and our vision for it? Absolutely. Well, we met um, Mariska in Abu Dhabi, I believe it was, roughly about a year ago. Yeah and um, heard about the, the upcoming Green Tech event in 2016. And it was actually through a, a member of the Association for Vertical Farming, through Franz Peter of, of Priva, that we were introduced. And yeah, I mean, there were just so many s potential synergies that we, we all saw. And um, instead of having an event in, in Europe with a similar focus and being competitors, we, we thought of um, combining our forces and um, making use of, of the existing network that, that Green Tech has and letting them support us with an exhibition where we have no prior experience. Um, and they absolutely have with one of the biggest horticultural exhibitions in the world, which Green Tech is already. Um, and yeah, it lets us focus on content on our AVF summit and in, in making this an exciting experience and and collaborating with Green Tech on the exhibition the days after in Amsterdam. Exactly, and you know these events are all about you. They're all about uh, you expanding your network and your knowledge of horticultural technologies um, like vertical farming, but but really the whole the whole gamut of those. So on this webinar, you're welcome to ask questions using the Q&A app as part of the Google Hangouts. You can also tweet us uh, by using hashtag AVF Summit. And if you uh, follow Green Tech or A Vertical Farm on Twitter, you can also ask us questions uh, during and, and after the, the webinar. And we'll do our best. We really want to hear from you uh, what you're hoping to expect and, and get out of the events so that we can, we can answer those for you. So now we're going to shift into a little bit more of an explanation, right? What, what, what am I supposed to expect from these events? Uh, what's going to happen? And we're going to start off with, uh, with Green Tech. And it'd be great, Mariska and, and Thies, Thies, to hear um, about the background of the, the, the Green Tech itself and, and how it really rose up to be such a successful and, and, and well-known event. So tell us about that and what to expect June 14th through 16th. 
Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm glad to do that. Um, this year we will organize the second edition of, uh, of Green Tech. It will be from 14th to the 16th of, uh, of June. And the first edition was organized in two, uh, 2014. We focus on technology for uh, a sustainable production of, of crops. So it's both um, uh, vegetables and, uh, and flowers. And yeah, you will find at, uh, at Green Tech the biggest overview of, of, of greenhouses uh, and all the technologies that, that are used in these, uh, these greenhouses. So um, let's say that, that we will have about uh, 360 uh, companies that will, uh, will be present there and show their newest uh, products and uh, best practices. Um, yeah, and also uh, we have different country pavilions. So it will be it will be really thrilling, and we think that, or we we know that uh, vertical farming is uh, is an important technology uh, that belongs to uh, to the green tech uh, uh, concept. So that's why we are very happy to to have this cooperation with with you, and uh, also with the the summit, of course. Because if we look at green tech itself, what what makes green tech so unique? One is the focus on technology for production of crops, and on the other hand, it's the knowledge exchange and the innovations that we uh, that we put in uh, in focus. Um, so that's uh, that's what, what we are fully uh, uh, organizing the show uh, for, and uh, well, all the the uh, the events uh, around it. So that's uh, that's a little bit about uh, about green tech uh, and and the basis. But could you tell uh, a little bit more about our highlights? Let's yeah, say sure. Thijs, well, about uh, the, the the breeders' pavilion and. Yeah, sure, sure, Mariska. Thank you. Um, well, as as Mariska mentioned, we think um, uh, knowledge sharing is one of our yeah key focus uh, during green tech. So we will have uh, like. Uh, say three theaters uh, on the floor uh, with uh, the team's crops, uh, water slash bio-based and energy and in these uh, theaters uh, we will have sessions uh, from like say like, like uh, 20 minutes all day long um, where our visitors get informed by well all the major players in, in, in this industry and, and the focus on these teams and on these sessions is that this should be, um, well, sessions which uh, should inform the visitor and not be a commercial pitch. So we, the visit, when you visit Green Tech, you can uh, um, meet meet your uh, suppliers, but uh, also get informed on, yeah, well, all related subjects which are interesting for the international grower and investor. This is um, what we. This is our focus on the on the knowledge sharing, uh, and besides that, uh, we say well, uh, if we are the technology uh, exhibition in horticulture, then we should, uh, and floriculture, we should um, uh, put innovations in in the spotlight, and that and this is why we uh, organize an innovation lab. This is a pavilion uh, on the green tech. Um, where all innovations, all relevant innovations in this industry, but also interesting crossovers, will will get a platform uh, to show them to the industry. So we are um, now uh, in, in um, we are speaking to a lot of interesting startups uh, just to give them this platform to uh, present this uh, their innovations to the market. Um, besides that, we ask all our uh, exhibitors to uh, submit their innovation for the Green Tech Innovation Awards, which is the uh, well the uh, innovation award in in the industry. Um, and we've uh, let's say uh, I think yesterday we announced um, all the nominees for that, and all these nominees will get a, uh, a spot on the Innovation Lab as well. And well, uh, as our jury uh, chairman uh, said. The level of innovations is really, really high. So, yeah, we as as organizers are really happy uh, that this level is high, and that we can uh, truly say that that green tech. If you're looking for innovations in in this industry, then you have to come to green tech. This is uh, this is regarding uh, knowledge sharing and and innovations. Uh, besides that, we are um, really excited about. Uh, about another pavilion which we are going to organize, which is is the Breeders Pavilion. 
uh, we are really, uh, and I think I, I can say that already, we are really, we actually going to build a, a greenhouse inside uh, inside Rai Amsterdam. And in this uh, in this greenhouse, um, some of the the big flower and seed companies in in Holland have um, yeah have a stand where they can uh, where they show their newest products, which will also be um, yeah uh, available during the the well known uh, flower and vegetable trials, which will be organized at the same time uh, as the green tech. So what we are going to do in this uh, greenhouse in this pavilion is that we give our visitors a sneak preview um, um, by uh, giving them a virtual reality uh, glasses. So what we're going to do is that they, we're going to uh, film uh, at these companies um, before the Green Tech and we are going to organize uh, tours from the Green Tech to these live showcases uh, during Green Tech. So uh, you can visit the Green Tech uh, meet all your uh, suppliers there, but you can also go. Uh, we are uh, we are helping you to get on the bus and see those live showcases. This this, this visiting green tech is going to be a great experience, and not only uh, just visiting the show. So, um, yeah, maybe it's good to um, uh, to indicate why we are in the second week of June. Exactly. Um, because what uh, Thijs already highlighted is that uh, during this second week of June, there are 52 breeders, uh, breeding companies that open their greenhouses in the Netherlands and a few in Germany. And you can actually see their newest varieties on pot embedding plants. So it is like uh, there's a lot of live showcases, so 52 in total, which can be uh, visited. And um, the, well, one of the largest companies uh, will uh, present themselves in the Breeders Pavilion at at Green Tech. So we have a more uh, a good combination uh, in that perspective. Exactly. Just <laughs> on background on that, and and yeah, well, we think that we by uh, combining these two events, we yeah, we definitely. Uh, give our visitors uh, something extra. Well, um, and besides this pavilion, we are of course are very excited about about our uh, virtual uh, farming pavilion, which uh, vertical. What did I say? Vertical. Vir Vir virtual oh, yeah. farming. That sounds pretty cool too, but vertical farming in this case. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Vertical farming pavilion, <laughs> which you guys uh, already know everything about. Um, this is uh, really going to be uh, an eye catcher in uh, during Green Tech, with uh, well, how three or four containers and four, yeah. four containers already, yeah, um, and also some of the the biggest uh, players and uh, in, in vertical farming, which will be presented there, uh, and we are happy to work together with uh, the Association for Vertical Farming, um, and yeah, we're going to make. Uh, yeah, it, we're gonna make it great. So, this is uh, some of the the highlights. I I'm uh, I, we as you can see are very really uh, enthusiastic about it. Um, so, yeah. yeah if thank you. you. Have thank extra questions about this? Uh, let us know. Great. Yeah. Thank you, Tyson and Mariska. And and just as Tyson said, we we want to hear your questions. Um, and actually, after you explained all of that, I have I have some of my own before we shift to talk a little bit about the AVF summit. But uh, it's great to see some more viewers here hopping on. Welcome. This is a live uh, webinar with Green Tech Rye and the Association for Vertical Farming, all about uh, the events coming June 13th through 16th in Amsterdam. Mark your calendars. Uh, don't miss it. It's going to be the greatest gathering of horticultural experts uh, to date. So I, I had some questions about, um, you know, you, you talked about this virtual reality uh, tool as well. I mean, you're, you're getting... Um, you know, what have you? What company? What what mechanism are you using? I mean, there's a lot of interest from young people with the Samsung gear and things like that. Do do, do you know uh, yet what you're going to use to kind of create that experience? Um, I think it's it's uh, the Samsung uh, the Samsung uh, gear. Um, I, yeah, that this is for sure. And yeah, we are working together with uh, a young a young company here in Holland who's going to do the filming. Um, and yeah. Yeah, we are really excited about this as well. We think um, if we talk about technology innovations, then we should do something about this. And then we think this is a really exciting uh, trigger for our visitors 
to see what they can see if they actually get on the bus and go see those uh, these companies who are inside this breeders pavilion and what is interesting to um, maybe interesting to tell you is that uh, well the flower companies of course they're going to show their uh, newest um, well flowers um, in, in this greenhouse but uh, the, the seed companies like uh, eminent seeds and uh, buyer um, uh, buyer seeds um, uh, we are really going to do live cooking with their products so in this greenhouse you can smell the flowers you can taste the products um, and you can see uh, by virtual reality uh, yeah these companies who we are working with so this this greenhouse is going to be all about tasting, feeling, smelling. It's really going to be an experience. Looks like it's going to be really quite an experience for all the senses, uh, which is exciting. <laughs> I also wanted to ask, you know, I noticed on your website, I was checking out your website recently, and, and you have a community there now. Could you maybe tell us a little bit about your online community? Um, and, and, and what is that about? And why, why should people use it? Well, as we uh, we have this, uh, this 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 aim uh, and our strategy to uh, to be the the uh, platform for uh, technology in horticulture, um, we we like to organize physical events. That's important. It's good to to meet each other in uh, in person, but also uh, via internet. And uh, we think that uh, we should th the information in horticulture technology should be available 365 uh, days a year, and that's why we have um, uh, launched our community a few weeks ago. And this is all about uh, challenges that growers and investors face in the world, and the solutions that can be offered and are offered. Uh, in this perspective uh, for those challenges and that's the, the aim to exchange knowledge in that way and it's possible to subscribe to greentech.nl to the greentech community and from there you can also interact with um, all the articles that, that are written and with the persons involved and a real community can, can start in, in, in that way and as said we, uh, we just launched it uh, we think it's a very important tool to 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 enhance this uh, this knowledge exchange and and innovations uh, um, perspective, and we will do everything to uh, also during green tech, but also uh, via this way to uh, to promote it and, uh, and make sure that uh, that that it will be a worthwhile uh, information tool for everybody. Great. Thank you. Um, so that really sounds like green tech is going to be this really big macro view of, of all the parts of horticulture and the technologies mm -hmm. and a lot of different ways to network and get involved. So yeah. let's shift a little bit more to the micro view, which is this uh, exciting uh, niche in the industry, which is vertical farming, uh, something that I'm particularly excited about and, and Max as well. So Max, why don't you get us started and, and talk a bit about the AVF Summit um, what is it as far as an annual event and, and what makes this year really different? Yeah, so uh, this year's AVF Summit um, is, is focused on vertical farming, circular economy and true sustainability. Um, we chose that theme for uh, a number of reasons and I think one of the most important ones is that with all the exciting new technological developments in this industry and different business models arising, um, it, it seems like sustainability is, is something that's sometimes a bit left out of the picture. And we want to use the opportunity um, that we have with this um, annual event to really bring the industry together and, and give them an outlook of how vertical farming can truly be sustainability um, if it's connected to a multitude of, of different technologies and um, of ways of growing food that already exist, but maybe in other sectors. So we'll have in, inspiring talks. Um, we're starting off the morning with um, like a general introduction about what circular economy really means. Um, how a circular economy can be um, put in relation to vertical farming, how a vertical farm can really be 
the, the focal point of an ecosystem of a city, so to say. So that it taps into the different streams of waste and water and energy and food and how it can be linked and connected to all of these streams. Uh, we'll have inspiring keynotes about aquaponics, um, about insect farming, about mushroom farming. Um, and during all these um, sessions, there's a lot of room and time to, to network because we really want to offer our members as well as new people that are interested in this, in this uh, coming industry to really have the time to exchange uh, on best practices, on knowledge, to network um, and create synergies. That's why we also don't um, want the events to be too big. That's why we've uh, limit, limited the amount of participants and um, the tickets are actually selling out faster than expected. Um, so early early bird tickets um, will stop will stop selling them. I think this Friday on the thirteenth. Yep, that's right. This Friday. Exactly. So yeah, if you're interested in coming, you don't have a ticket yet. Um, if you're an AVF member, you get a fifty percent discount. Um, if you're not a member, the tickets are still quite affordable because we really want to um, lower the barrier of entrance and get anyone that's interested in this scene to come. Um, and yeah, so we're talking about circular economy in general. Um, what we'll also do is we'll introduce um, the white paper that ABF has, has written over the past almost year now. Um, so this white paper will first be released to members only, and you'll get a glimpse of what the content is at the summit, and um, it will then also be made available to the public later on. Um, on top of that, we have um, yeah, inspiring speakers like like Dixon coming, companies like ah, yeah, it's also super exciting. Uh, that's something maybe you could talk a bit about, Henry. Is is the whole Illumitex exactly uh, yeah. I think I, you know I the, think the winning team. Yeah, I think I'll take it um, a little bit. Uh, I'll just talk a little bit here about about the AVF award. So as Max said, you know we're we're trying to bring this we're we're going to bring this circular economy theme to vertical farming and talk about how those resource flows in the city and even within vertical farms themselves can really demonstrate true sustainability. But that's not all you're going to get. You're also going to get to meet the winners of the AVF award. Now the AVF Award is our first global competition for vertical farming concepts. We had over 300 teams enter and 100 teams become finalists and those teams are from 24 different countries. And one member from, from the winning team is going to be flown, all expenses paid by Illumitex to come present and to win their award at the AVF Summit. So you're going to be able to meet uh, that winner and talk about their amazing idea. They're also going to be attending Green Tech and uh, around their networking and, and presenting. So it's going to be a great opportunity to kind of meet them and as well as a great opportunity for that, for that winner. Um, you can check out that competition's progress on the Vertical Farming, Association Vertical Farming Facebook page where you can see what sites the team selected, what crops they're going to be growing, um, even some of the lighting selection choices that they've made already. Um, another highlight, I think, on the sustainability side is we're going to be there, uh, specifically Mark Horler from the United Kingdom, our, our UK regional manager, and I. We're going to be there talking a little bit about what we learned from studying the sustainability of vertical farms in partnership with Columbia University. So uh, a couple semesters ago, we partnered with Columbia to do a research study on how we could standardize and create a certification scheme for vertical farms. And that involves really looking at all of those complex resource flows in these operations. And so we're going to start talking about that. There's going to be some um, snippets of that in the, in the white paper. And we're going to be there kind of answering questions and trying to initiate some benchmarking uh, for that really critical vertical farming uh, certification. As you can imagine, there's a huge variety of types of vertical farms. And so it's very difficult for cities and, and states and policy leaders to say what makes, what, what makes one vertical farm sustainable over the other. And, and that's going to be a long process to make that happen. But we're really proud at the Associated Vertical Farming to really be leading that discussion, moving past the kind of uh, grandstanding and promotion of vertical farming into the deeper, uh, more difficult questions. So those are some things to really look forward to. And I, I just really want to emphasize again, you know, this is a trip uh, that's going to be a trip of a lifetime, frankly. And first of all, Amsterdam is just an incredible city. 
uh, for, for nightlife and daylife. You know, you can bike around, visit the canals. It's going to be a beautiful time of year if we're, you know, usually. And, uh, and it's going to be at, at the biggest uh, conference center there in Amsterdam at Rye, which is really incredibly high tech, incredibly dynamic. And, and this way you don't get just the benefit of green tech, but you also get the AVF Summit as well. So, you know, it's, you know if you're talking about bang for your buck, uh, attending the AVF Summit and, and green tech is something really not to be missed. And if you have any questions about that, we really are uh, looking forward to, to kind of answering those. So, Max, maybe we can talk a little bit about some of the confirmed speakers we have um, yeah, at sure. the summit and, and, and who to expect. So, yeah, I, I met Dixon de Pommier already. That's probably the most well-known figure in this industry, the author of the book, The Vertical Farm. Um, next to Dixon, we'll hear Jasper Den Besten. We'll hear Mark Oshima from Aero Farms. We'll hear from Paul Harday of Illumitex, um, from Fabio Simpson of Metro Group, who will be leading the, the panel on the future of retail and how big um, multinational organizations like Metro why they're interested in vertical farming and what they see as the potential for, for impacting retail in the future. Um, we'll hear from Stephen Beckers from the Lateral Thinking Factory about circular economy concepts. We'll hear from Oscar Rodriguez about how to, um, basically how building integrated agriculture and architecture can be fused with, with vertical farming technologies. Um, and, yeah, we'll hear from Vincent Vesquet of New Urban View and Howard Brin of the AVF about the white paper, who are the leading authors of that. We'll hear from, from Lars, the CEO of Veloia, who will be joining our LED lighting panel. Um, and then, yeah, so we have three panels. One of them is, is the circular economy panel, with a focus on, on different food cultivation methods, such as insects, mushroom cultivation, hydroponics, and, and of course, um, yeah, traditional vertical farming. Um, then we have a, re uh, a panel on the future of retail, which Infarm is joining. Infarm is, is also a member of the AVF who built the first in-store farm in, in a metro store in Europe. Um, metro will be joining that panel. The other two members are, are still to be uh, confirmed, so I can't share anything about that yet. Um, and the, the, the last panel will be LED lighting, um, which um, Gus van der Feltz, the CEO of, of Philip City Farming, um, will be joining together with Jasper, um, Lars, the CEO of Voloya, um, as well as Dr. Chung uh, Guilu of uh, Nottingham University, and another name that we are not allowed to announce yet. And um, yeah, we have two other surprises that we don't want to make public yet, but if you check back on, a, on the website, probably by Friday um, after the, the early bird tickets um, are sold out, and we, um, we'll announce the, the final schedule of the summit, and then you can also see the two surprises of who else will be speaking at the summit. Oh, wow. I'm very curious, Max. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's very exciting. I'm on the edge of my seat. So, um, yes, yes, really stacked, pa stacked uh, panels, panelists and speakers at the AVF Summit. And now I just want to talk a little bit about the bridge between the AVF Summit and Green Tech. Um, and, and, and then we'll open it up to questions. So we really want to get your questions about the events um, and, um, and, and, you know, and, and, and really answer those for you so that you can feel even more excited about, about attending and what you're going to get out of it. So we're here for you. Ask us your questions. Um, and, and let me talk a little bit about the, the Vertical Farming Pavilion again. So this is the really exciting partnership, right? Green Tech is this huge event um, that's really well attended and, and is this great knowledge transfer. They've got some new products, this Innovations Award and the community. Um, but they've, they've really facilitated and par partnered with us on a Vertical Farming Pavilion. And so that's really a, a symbol that this, uh, this technology, which has been on the fringe, is now coming to the forefront through this event. And so, um, as you heard, there's going to be shipping containers there. We're going to have uh, AVF members and non-AVF members engaged in vertical farming technologies. 
uh, exhibiting and, and demonstrating their, their capacities. And the story that we're going to tell is from seed uh, to market. So uh, where does that seed start with, let's say, Reichsvon, AVF member, and, and who, who really developed these high-quality seeds for, 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 for farms? Um, and where does it end? Maybe with a Metro, an AVF member that is having a vertical farm, uh, the first vertical farm in a, in a retail store. And what happens in between that as far as lighting and, and nutrients and, and all of the various things that are needed to take that seed uh, to market? And so we're going to have AVF volunteers offering tours. And it's going to be opened on June 14th by, uh, you know, quote unquote, the father of vertical farming and an honorary board member, Dixon, Dr. Dixon de Palmier. So I, I'm just, you know, obviously such a nerd about this and very excited. But it, it really is, is a great opportunity to kind of uh, bring vertical farming to the forefront in this horticultural technology uh, discussion. So we're getting some uh, questions coming in here. Um, this is going to be, I guess, both for Green Tech and, and the AVF. Um, we'll start with Green Tech. A uh, question here is uh, who, who is attending uh, this event? Who, who, who should people expect to meet? Well, if you uh, if you look at the main audience that we uh, that we expect, uh, that is the grower, the vegetable and and flower growers uh, from all over the world. In 2014, we had um, uh, growers from uh, about 100 countries, so it's like a full international uh, uh, audience. And um, we expect investors, so also for uh, for vertical farming, it's 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 more like um, what 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 can can countries do to uh, to secure their their well to to enhance their food security. So that's uh, that's an audience we uh, we expect. So governments, etc. And um, Business to business, of course. There's also a lot of business to business uh, uh, involved from suppliers uh, uh, amongst each other, but merely growers, investors. That's the main target group that we expect. Great. And Max, what about at the ABF Summit? Um, I would say it's similar. We have a very cross sector participation so far. I mean, there's interest. From, from big companies like Microsoft, IKEA. Um, we have, of course, a lot of the, the vertical farming technology providers, seed companies that are coming. Um, a lot of the AVF members will be there. This is actually going to be the biggest gathering of AVF members to date, because a lot of them are also participating in the Green Tech exhibition. Um, so it's a huge opportunity to basically meet the who is who of the vertical farming sector. Yeah. The majority of our members will be there. Um, of course, investors um, and um, governmental people have, have, been, have been confirmed already. Um, but also young entrepreneurs that want to get active in, in the scene are really there to, to meet the, the leading technology providers and network and talk about their future business plans and, and how to partner and, and find synergies with, with other vertical farming players in the world. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's one of the the, the, the great um, developments that you see that that all the companies and especially also the the big companies uh, leading horticulture suppliers um, of, of 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 technologies they really embrace the vertical farming they really develop new uh, products uh, for uh, for vertical farming and it's it's really like like. Thrilling to see what uh, what that that uh, a company like Rijkswaan is especially developing special seeds that you can uh, use for for growing in in a vertical farm, it, and 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 you have the special devices etc. So it's um, I'm I'm really happy to see that uh, development. Yeah. Absolutely, and it's also I mean it's going to be a very international crowd. Even last year, in, when we held our summit in, in China, in Beijing, we had people from over 19 different countries come to China. And, and this year, we have um, already confirmed attendance of uh, people from 20 different countries. So we've already exceeded that, even though there's still more than five weeks to go before the summit. Mm, and yeah. It's going to be really exciting. And it's going to be, in, yeah, basically everyone that's that's excited about the topic of vertical farming um, is, is making the time to, to be there and afterwards check out Green Tech and all the technology providers there. Great. Wow. 
Yeah. Sorry, and if you want, if you talk about knowledge sharing, uh, some of the the speakers you have at the AVF uh, summit will also be uh, uh, taking part in our yeah. session program. So, because vertical farming will be uh, an important subject in our program as well. Yeah, there's a absolutely. Big yeah, I mean, definitely. you you already mentioned Dixon, who will be opening the pavilion and giving a quick um, speech there. Then I think we have Jasper and Besten, who's going to pitch on the crop uh, theater stage in Hall 8, as exactly. well as Rebecca Knight from Illumitex. Yeah. And yeah. Ibn Harvest. Ibn so Harvest is confirmed. Yeah, and of course, we, uh, the, the winner of the, uh, the AVF award will be in our program as well. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think it's just it's a great opportunity because. You know, so often you go to these events and you hear the speaker talk and then they're kind of swarmed by people and you never have another chance. You know, here by going to both events, you get at least two chances to interact yeah. with them. Um, and that really is a great opportunity to make that connection. And, and, you know, it's hard to put a price on those. We have a question here coming um, out, of, out of Israel. You know, is it, is it worth it? You know, Amsterdam is far away. Um, you know, the question is, is really like how much... Um, is is networking and, and knowledge worth it, right? I think, in my experience, learning about vertical farming and hydroponic greenhouses, it takes a long time. You have to go and you have to visit a lot of different greenhouses, a lot of different operations. Sometimes you have to hire consultants to focus on something specific, and that takes a lot of time and money. Well, here, within one week, um, you can really see from, again, seed to, to retail, all of the, the issues going on, all of the technologies involved, um, you get to meet the, the movers and shakers, um, and you get to be inspired by things like the AVF Award, um, the State of the Vertical Farming Industry White Paper, and, and you know, above all of that, you get to ask some deeper questions about the sustainability of our work. You know, I think eventually um, the sustainability questions are going to catch up with us. So that's why we're trying to get ahead of the game, working with green tech and asking some of these deeper, deeper green questions. So um, keep those questions coming. we got another one here. Uh, coming in. Uh, this one's about, you know, I guess it's a logistics question. D do I register for both events at once or do I register separately? Um, Mariska, do you want to talk about that? Um, I would say that uh, uh, all the members or the, and all the delegates of, uh, of AVF, we should uh, make it, of the AVF Summit, we should make it uh, easy for them to uh, access uh, the Green Tech uh, show. So um, if you register via AVF, then uh, we will uh, get you through uh, our systems as, uh, as well. Let's, uh, let's put it like that. That's awesome. Thank you, Marissa. Yeah, excellent. That's a lot easier. So um, really appreciate that. So you can, you know, the AVF Sun is happening first on June 13th, and yeah. then we yeah. kick off uh, Green Tech June 14th, 15th, and 16th at, at Rye Amsterdam is where the whole event is happening. Um, it's, a, it's really a, a great venue. Super excited to kind of go back there and check it out. Um, the early bird for the AVF Summit tickets are ending on uh, June 13th. And... Um, and you know, May thirteenth. May. May, May thirteenth, <laughs> one <laughs> month before the event. Thanks for the correction. Um, and and you know, make sure you grab those because, as Max said, uh, they're 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 selling fast. Um, so we're open to taking a few more questions uh, from you um, about about either of the events. So let us know um, what 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 you're wondering about, or maybe you already know for sure that you have all the answers, and, and we're going to see you there. Um, you can follow the conversation about this by following uh, Green Tech on Twitter. I believe it's Green Tech Rye is their Twitter mm -hmm. account. That's correct. And you can also follow the Association of Vertical Farming at A Vertical Farm. Um, we're going to wrap up soon here. This is going to be a, a, a recorded webinar, so you can watch it afterwards and you can share it uh, from the YouTube link that will be created. So please do that. Um, it's a great way to encourage your friends and colleagues and business partners on the benefits of participating in the AVF Summit and uh, Green Tech. If there's any last questions, please let us know. Um, Max, uh, Mariska, Thies, any anything else you want to tell the audience before we wrap up here? Well, uh, as soon as you, you register for uh, for one of the events, and I would say let's start with, uh, with the AVF uh, Summit, 
then uh, it is easy for us to uh, to keep everybody updated on the newest uh, developments. So we will share the knowledge exchange programs, we will share the newest innovations, etc. So we can keep you updated in the best way. And please join uh, the Green Tech community to uh, to be updated the whole year uh, year round. Great. Um, yeah, and I just want to end it by by saying that I'm really looking forward to meeting everyone. Um, yeah. And if you have any further questions, just shout out via Twitter or, or Facebook, or find us on, on on the website. And yeah, looking forward to to meeting everyone in in June. Exactly. I really want to thank our guests uh, today, uh, Tice and Mariska and Max. You know, I think there's a lot of great energy here, and and we really want you to be part of that. Uh, by joining us at Amsterdam June 13th through 16th. Uh, you can learn about both events online. Um, you can learn about Green Tech and join their community at greentech.nl, um, as well as community.greentech.nl. Um, on the Vertic Association Vertical Farming website, vertical-farming.net, you'll see banners for both events uh, where you can uh, learn what to expect and make sure you register for the AVF Summit, early bird tickets, and this Friday, May 13th. Uh, please follow the conversation online, hashtag AVF Summit, and, uh, and thanks so much for watching this webinar, and we'll see you in Amsterdam. No, yeah. thank you, Henry, and everybody. Thanks. <laughs> thanks thanks for, for listening in. Thanks, Henry.